Ego I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hi brethren, it's your sister Esther. I greet you. I come to share with you what I received this night from the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the ninth of May two thousand nineteen. And uh, I apologize for my English, but I usually speak French. So may the Lord help you to understand me by his Holy Spirit. The Lord this night made me know his power. He taught me again that I do not really know him. I fall in front of his grandeur, full of joy and fear. Here is what happened. I saw blue clouds a cloud with thunder inside. The thunders were transparent or fire. I called them electric clouds. These clouds began to cover me, so much that I saw only the darkness of my room. The electricity they gave off was very powerful. It started to cover me, and I knew right away that this is the Lord the eternal because i call him the eternal i started to be as drunk and thunderstruck by this tremendous power but in exaltation brethren i prayed the lord i repent from my sins the lord's electricity or rather his power made myself pray you know intercede why fighting because i asked him to drive all evil spirits out of my room i saw my body hanging in the air i could only see those sky you know those electric clouds with uh, a color you know blue sky that covered me and diffused electricity in me from the head to the foot. I trembled in front of his power. I was trembling, really. And my soul exalted the Lord, you know, my soul exalted the Lord. She blessed him and prayed to him. I said, for example, the Lord is strong. He is great and terrible. And here is what the Lord brings me to tell you. No soul escapes from him. Fear God. Respect the Lord. No one will go far from his face. He knows every soul. So come to him rather than run away from him. Come to him rather than perish. The Lord is fearsome, stubborn people with stiff necks. Do not harden your heart. Give them to him. Who will be able to subsist during his advent, if not what belongs to him? You know, his children. If the righteous man saves himself with difficulties, what will be the faith, you know, what will be the faith of him who does not obey to the Lord, who does not obey him? Repent. Yeah, repent us because, you know, the repentance is continual and the Lord is near and uh, the lord gave philippians 4 so i invite you you know to read philippians 4 the the apostle paul wants us you know uh, to be firm to be firm you know in the faith to be firm to be patient you know so, brothers and sisters, that's what I wanted to share with you. That's what the Lord wanted me to share with you. 
So I hope that this will bless you and that we will, you know, we will see and we will respect the grace that he gives us to know him, really. And that our souls, we tremble in front of his face because the Lord is great. He is powerful. It's not a joke. He's powerful. And no soul can escape from him. Okay. So, remain rapture ready. And uh, let us continue, you know, to persevere. To obey his word to persevere, to, you know, seek the face of the Lord. Yeah, and may the Lord continue to wash our sins with his blood. It's very important to repent from our sins continually. It's very important because every day, you know, we sin, you know, and uh, we need the blood of Jesus Christ to cover us, to wash us from these sins okay so thank you for listening to me and uh, may the lord keep your heart in peace bye brethren